Hello, this is uh, Mark Patterson, Sound Healer. So, uh, I guess I felt like doing this. I haven't done this in a while. So, of course, uh, I'm known for vocal toning and allowing pure tones to uh, come through me. And people for many, many years called me or have called me the human singing bowl because I replicate the tones that uh, sound like a a crystal ball, which I'll, I'll also bring out in just a moment. So, So, uh, you know, that's really powerful because what that does is that <clears throat> it creates real instant stillness. It creates stillness in the body, the space around you. In fact, it clears everything out uh, so that you, all that you do is you focus <clears throat> on that tone. And a lot of people over the years, I first presented that publicly uh, on August 17th of 1997 at the... Um, Master and Life Center in Las Cruces, New Mexico, where I was going to undergraduate school at the time. And um, so, I mean, that sound is a pure tone. And many people have reported, that even though it's one tone, they'll hear one tone in their uh, left ear and one tone in their right ear. Or I guess this is my right ear, that's my left. So you, they'll hear two different tones, even though there's only one tone. Uh, Playing and the, the other thing that's interesting about that tone is that, and I presented this in front of five people, and I've had almost 500 people in front of me before, um, where you do that tone, that tone will go to each individual person's greatest point of pain. So, and again, it doesn't matter if there's five people in the room or five or 500, five people or 500 people in the room, it'll go to each individual's greatest point of pain and it'll break that pain up. And I remember the first time at the Master Life Center in August of 97, really presenting it. I mean, I did it for like small groups of people, like at a Reiki circle or at a friend's house, but I never actually did it in a talk in front of people until 97. Well, there's probably about 150, 175 people that day, that Sunday. Um, and after about doing uh, five, six, seven of those tones, I, I just heard a voice say, stop, June, take a look. And. I mean, there had to have been 80 or 90 people that were just, you know, out, you know, kind of like, you know, when I was doing hypnosis shows, sleep, you know, people would go, you know, go out. It's because it just clears everything. It clears your space. It clears your energy field uh, in a really profound uh, way. And, you know, uh, Edgar Casey, the famous psychic said that, uh, you know, pure sound would be the healing modality of the future. And, you know, that is a real uh, pure tone. I, I'm pretty sure it is. Anytime we've measured it, uh, it comes out as A sharp, which I think is 432, 460, 466 hertz, somewhere in there. So it's a real powerful tone. In fact, uh, a lot of times, you know, you do it with the bowls. And when you when you do the vocal toning with the bowls, you, you, you get the overtones and it really expands. And uh, in fact, I'm going to try to do this. I do have a bowl down here. Um, this one's a little, I used to have some, when I was in Sedona, I had all kinds of bowls. And of course, when I left Sedona and moved to back to Charleston in 2016, I sold everything. And uh, so this is a uh, Citrine Quartz infused crystal bowl. 
And yeah, these are pricey. Uh, they're beautiful, very beautiful healing tools. Balance energy fields, clear the chakras, the energy points of the body. Feel that overtone effect. It's real special when it happens. And but these bowls are beautiful. I like to sing with the bowls. tool it may be the most powerful tool like the bible says uh oops man i don't sorry i thought i had that turned off hold on like the bible says um in the beginning was the word the voice the voice of god it is said that in hopi traditions uh that the grandmother spider woman sung the web of the universe into existence the word universe means one song the word person is greek for through sound so everything is based on frequency vibration uh energy it's all you know it's all there 
Uh, I was just talking to an old friend of mine about Dan Carlson. Dan Carlson was a farmer in Wisconsin, and he became interested in sound therapy, uh, rife technology, because his wife had uh, a tumor. And they found that it was only the sound using the sound frequencies were the only thing that really broke up the tumor, dissolved the tumor. Well, Dan became really fascinated with sound and frequencies and vibration, so he started playing around with it. Well, Dan found that after trial and error that he found that when he ran like a 5,000 hertz frequency through his crop fields, that they produced a 400% greater yield. Now, I didn't say 30 or 4%, I said 400% greater yield. Uh, in fact, um, Dan Carlson is in the Guinness Book of World Records for producing the largest vines in the world, uh, you know, from 18, 20 inches all the way to 1,350 feet. I mean, just it, it, it's unreal what uh, the, this Hertz does. So Dan kind of took his uh, research a little bit further and became fascinated with things of nature. And he found, this is why it sounds so important to us, that he found that when birds chirp and sing in the morning, that they are singing at that 4,000 Hertz frequency which means the birds are literally singing life into the planet every single morning. And when crickets chirp, they chirp at about 2000 cycles hertz per second, and they're closing everything down. So everything is on rhythms, cacadias, and the heartbeat of the heart, you know, they talk about that, you know, with listening to Mozart, your, your heart slows down to about 60 beats per second. It's in that natural algorithm, that mathematical frequency. So yeah, everything in nature is based on mathematics, sound frequency, and uh, sound. Um, my, I, the Hopi elders, you know, along with Dan Carlson's work, the Hopi elders always told, told the story that they would sing to their crops. And they produce uh, kernels of corn that were the size of most men's thumbs. Uh, I, I remember in the Celsian Prophecy, they talked about singing to the plants and making them you know, grow and get larger. So um, sound is in fact, the basis of all creation. So it's been a while since I've done that. Um, God, that felt really good to do. I know that how, how powerful it is and how empowering it is. So anyway, I hope you enjoy it. Anyway, take care, blessings.